big day. The differential is going back in the front of the Humvee. So let's get this party started. Alright, so not so bad. I'm telling you that Harbor Freight transmission jack. I think it's a hundred bucks. Couldn't do it without it. So the differential, you can see the axle sticking out. It is lined up somewhat um, on both sides. It's pushed into the bracket. So now all I need to do is take the bolts, put some Loctite on them, fish them through, get it um, somewhat tight. You still, I have to put the bracket on the front. So I need to be able to kind of move it just a little bit, but we're going to start with the top two because they're the most lined up and go from there. All right, so I've got the, the two top bolts on the bracket. Now what I have to do is get this thing and I'll show you if you kind of wiggle it on and flip it over, ta-da, there you go. And so you these, if you can see, let me check to see if you can see, yeah, see how the elongated hole so you just want to kind of get these finger tight. Well, not finger tight, tighter than that, but um, do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Uh, get those tied a little, not tight, just you know, what I'm saying. just so you can still move the differential back and forth to get these other two bolts in the the hanger bracket. I'm telling you, I know you can see how much I love this transmission jack for this job. And this thing, it's on 42, so it's up there. And it it does what it's supposed to do. All right, let me get sockets and a wrench. All right, just make sure it's still loose. I need to check the torque specs on those um, before I torque them down. So now we'll go ahead and install the other two and be ready to uh, do these up here. All right, so I've got the four bolts into the brackets on the side of the diff. Now I'm gonna use these two bolts to put in to the top. Now, these two bolts on the front diff only do not require washers. Now I will tell you, that's why we left the bracket loose so we could line that up. Just make sure to put your Loctite on it. And then the reason we cleaned these so well is so I can just finger thread them in. I don't have to fight the old Loctite. I put a pretty good bit on here um, because it's a really big bolt. And let me get that out of the way a little bit. And that right there, it makes the installation process so easy because I'm not fighting the old Loctite. Get the other bolt. There we go. Oop. Oh, all right. Surf that over. Now, all of the bolts that hold the differential to the brackets are 140 pounds, except the two down here. I haven't looked those up yet. So what I'll do is just snug these up on all the, I really need an extension on that. Snug those up. And then snug them up on the brackets on the side and then we'll come back and torque everything and then once we torque it we'll move on to the output flanges and then the brakes and so forth and so on I'm gonna do the other one from the top. Since I have the radiator out, make it a little easier. All right, so I'm just gonna check the torque on this. 
at 140. And then torque these brackets down to 90. All right, so now we're going to stick the an output flange on the axle. Let me get the creeper. Eh, it kind of helps you see. Um, you have to have these star washers when you do it. Now, these star washers, you can get them from Hummer Parts Guy online. They're a few bucks, if that even, maybe a dollar. But um, see how they're splined, and those splines match up with the axle splines. So you slide it over, uh, get it on there. And you'll see that those blue splines match up with the splines on the shaft. But before you put it on, you have to cover this thing in RTV. Now, I'm gonna show you how I do it. There's probably a lot of different ways, but I literally, I put RTV on it and just kind of smush it all around. And then I slide it on and I put more RTV once it's on there. Um, and then I just slide the output flange over it. You gotta make sure the teeth on this line up with the teeth on the axle. But if you have too much RTV, you don't have enough RTV. Uh, this is a common place for them to leak. So put it on there. And then the output flange will go on to the axle shaft, let me show you the output flange right here. It fits over, goes inside the seal, and then the lock nut goes on top, and the lock nut's torqued to about 190 foot-pounds. It gives you a range 160 to 190. I always go on the heavy side of things, um, but it's kind of hard to torque down because you have to lock the other axle and the um, pinion so you can torque down on it, but uh, that's the star washer and we have to put those on. So let me go get some RTV on it and then I'll try to show you it going on. All right, so just smush some RTV on it. Kind of getting it on one side real good. I'm gonna turn it over. Get it on the other side real good. And I mean, I'm, I like to cover them. A lot of people are like, oh, that's too much RTV. Yeah, well, there's leaks. So now I'm gonna go underneath it Hopefully. And I'm gonna stick it on there. So you can kind of see. Now there's really no way not to get RTV on the threads, but now that it's on there, I'm gonna get some more RTV and literally just cake it around the edges. And now since my glove is absolute filth, take it off, get my output flange, line it up. Oh, come on. Line it up, there we go. Put it on. And now I'm gonna get more RTV. And I'm literally going to stick it right down in there. Actually, you know what? Let me get the nut real quick. I got the nuts. And what I'm going to do is just stick some RTV on the back side of this nut. Not, not a ton, but just enough to push up against that star washer. And then I'm going to screw that on. And this will get torched to 190. All right, there it is. Um, it's on 190 foot pounds. I used a block of wood on the pinion. And then on this side, I actually did put the output flange on and I just stuck a quarter inch extension through one of the holes. And it held everything good enough for me to torque it down. So now on to this side, just repeat the process on all four, but Make sure you got a lot of silicone on that star washer.